A years old PowerPoint presentation is causing controversy right now for the Portland Police Bureau. The mayor and some commissioners tonight already speaking out against what looks like training material mocking protesters. Jennifer Dowling looking into this. She talked to a group that helped bring this material to light. What's this about, Jennifer? Well, Jeff, I talked to an attorney for Don't Shoot Portland, and she says they first discovered the slide during the discovery process in a civil suit against the city, and she says it points to a larger problem. I think I was somewhat surprised it was given in the course of a training so blatant. This is the slide stirring up controversy. It shows a person in body armor confronting protesters with a mock prayer containing profanity, referring to a protester as a dirty hippie, and making references about using a bat and pepper spray to injure them. For many years, protesters have, have said and, and recognized that, that left-wing protesters and Black Lives Matter protesters and people protesting against white supremacy have been treated worse by the city in the course of expressive activity than organizations like the Proud Boys. Ashley Albies represents Don't Shoot Portland. She says her team learned about the slide during discovery in the group's civil case against the city regarding treatment of protesters. Don't Shoot Portland founder Teresa Rayford told us in a call she was disgusted at the finding. Hopefully there will be, you know, sanctions against violence till we figure out what their intent is when they're using yeah. violence against people that show up for Black Lives and all the, all the other leftist groups. Mayor Ted Wheeler and Portland Police Chief Chuck Lavelle also condemned the slide. As soon as I was made aware of the incident, I reached out to Chief Lavelle, who shared my deep concern and assured me that a thorough and complete investigation was underway. Rayford believes the revelation is an example of why her group's civil suit should move forward. Now it's going to be something that people are discussing and hopefully people will be held accountable. Um, that doesn't mean that it's going to cease to exist. We're really seeking to hold the city accountable and um, to standards about when they can use force and when they can't. And I spoke to attorney Aiken Blitz for a different take. He was once a police officer and has represented police agencies helping in areas of police, police labor relations, and other issues like discipline. He believes the message was not to beat up protesters, but likely, he says, what the trainer was trying to do was to inject a little black cop humor in a town where officers are frustrated and the police bureau doesn't get a lot of support and to end the training with a little bit of levity. Now, some city commissioners have also spoken out about this slide, and we'll put their responses to the matter in our story on the web at coin.com. Reporting live in Portland, Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News.